What's up, Space Cadets? This is KJ48, and we'll go back to my Let's Play for Imperion Galactic Survival. All right, so on the way home, well, last episode, we were in our capital vessel. We were getting a bunch of um, rare materials, and on the way home, I got even a bunch more materials. Um, this is all my iron ingots, kind of nice and organized, all my copper, all my silicon. Um, it seems like I'm out of cobalt, which is a bit of a bummer, uh, so that kind of sucks. Uh, we're going to deal with that today. The oh, can I not make this because, yeah, so I can't make this next auto miner device because I'm out of cobalt, okay? So that's going to be a problem, right? We have to deal with cobalt. You can see the neodymium here, satium, zacosium, and aristrium, okay? So there we go. That's what we got stocked up. That's what I did off camera. Today we are going to be working on our hangar bays, all right? But before we do that, I am going to go out and I'm going to go to the moon and I'm going to find some... Um, Actually, is cobalt on the moon? Yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive cobalt's on the moon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the moon and we're going to find some cobalt. I'm not even going to take this big ship. I'm going to take my little ship. Um, I want to just get out there, uh, find it, find a cobalt. Uh, actually, I, I think I'm going to put down uh, two auto miners on cobalt. Where's my ship? Oh, it's behind. <laughs> okay, God, scared the crap out of me. I thought I lost my little ship. Um, anyway, I'm going to look for actually two... Two nodes of cobalt, um, you know, because uh, cobalt's something we're really going to need. Um, so I'm going to find two nodes of cobalt. I've got four auto miners. I think we're going to put two on cobalt uh, on the moon. And then we're going to come back here and then we're going to put one on silicon and one on copper. That means we'll have an auto miner on iron, silicon, copper, cobalt, and aristrium. Yeah, that looks that, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. All right, guys. Um, I want to do a lot of work in the hangar bay today, so I'm going to actually cut the uh, traveling to the moon. So um, I'll show you. I'll show you when I get to the moon, just so you know where I'm going to be putting the cobalt st stuff. But the thing is, I'm going to be cutting this up quite a bit because um, the main part of this video is supposed to be uh, actually is supposed to be me um, uh, working on the hangar base. So. All right, guys, this is pretty sweet. We actually got a couple of cobalt nodes right next to each other. And if you were wondering where I got the extra uh, auto miner cores, I actually, on the way back after last video, on the way back to base... Oh, hold on. One second, hold that thought. What is it, 312, huh? There you go. Nope, oh, we're gonna take this punk out too. Okay. Beautiful, level 25, cool. Is that is that max level? It actually might be. Anyway, um, on the way back home, I went ahead and I hit up the the traders, and I actually had enough money for like, I think two, two auto miner cores, and then I also had three auto miner cores sitting in one of my boxes. I totally forgot about, because you start off with like five. So, you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm glad I finally found it. All right, so let's go ahead. And put this one down right here. And 48% is not great, but what are you going to do? And we're going to load this sucker up. I'm eventually going to have to get some uh, Permethium as well. Um, that should be enough. And this thing will eventually fill up and you can only hold so much. So, you know, I don't. there's no need to fill that because I don't think it can hold enough anyway. Alright, so let's go ahead and find the other node. The other node's behind us. Yep. And I'm going to put another one down on this uh, on this cobalt node, and then we will head back to base. All right, guys, and I am back, and I came back down to my home planet on wonderful Akua. Um, I also went over here. Now, I wasn't sure because I was a little bit curious how this would work, okay? We've got a Prometheum deposit here with, that holds 2,500 Prometheum, right? But I've also mined out some of it. It's at 72% ores left, okay? And then over here, we've got a Prometheum deposit with 1,200 Um but I didn't mine it out at all. So what I did was I came over here and I went to this Prometheum deposit and I wanted to see which one would have the higher uh, yield, right? So I put down one of my auto miners because I need Prometheum. I need power. I'm actually quite low on it. So I put down one of my one of my auto miners and it was like 59% or something like that, right? So I was like, okay. So I took my multi-tool out. I went to pick up the auto miner. Poof! Auto miner disappeared into the ether, into the nothingness. Why the hell can I not pick up my freaking auto miner? That is incredibly frustrating. If any of you guys could tell me in the comments what I have to do to be able to pick up an auto miner, that would be wonderful. But I don't think there's a way, okay? 
So that kind of sucked. I lost an auto miner. I was going to figure out how to like get into the cheat menu and respawn it because that's kind of BS. Um, but eh, I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'll leave it alone. So anyway, that was 59%. So then I came over here to this one. I don't remember what the percentage was, but it was higher than 59%. So you can see right there, we've got a little tack. All right. And uh, we've got Promethium deposits. Unfortunately, um, I am completely out of auto miners now. Right? Right. Okay. So that's, that's that. Whatever. We're going to get to what we're supposed to be doing today. I also want to let you know that this is the next day in real life. Okay. Um, I had a real tough night. Okay. While I was recording the first five minutes of this video, um, I had really de debilitating allergies. They were, they were like really just, I couldn't do it. All right. I couldn't do it. So I went out to my wife and I was like, you know, I can't, I can't make any videos right now because my allergies and, um, it was a little upsetting. So I was like, can we just watch Game of Thrones and just hang out and like, just kind of forget about it. And she was like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Watch some Game of Thrones. So we went, we sat down and watched some Game of Thrones. We watched Thor, uh, Ragnarok, um, which was awesome. And I completely forgot to put up a seven days to die video for yesterday. Okay. Completely forgot. So first of all, for those of you seven, like seven days to die, I apologize. That was a real oopsie. So that kind of sucked. Ooh, I wonder if I just broke out the, uh, farm, the, uh, the, oh, ooh, that might've actually been a farm block and I might've actually broke out the, the, what do you call it for the farm? Um, but it's okay. It's, it's a, it's a, I replaced it and it's actually a pretty good, uh, temperature out right now. So I don't think I would have lost anything. No, I didn't lose anything. As a matter of fact, let's pick some stuff. Anyway, back to my awesome story. So, um, yeah, so I completely forgot. And then I started having back spasms later on in the night, so I couldn't get back to the computer. And if I knew I did, if I knew that I the 7 Days to Die video didn't go up, I would have suffered through it and got that 7 Days to Die video up one way or another. I just completely forgot. The video is already made, so it's going up today. So, for you 7 Days to Die fans, I apologize. You know, um, you know, sometimes crap happens. So, it is the next day in real life, and uh, I think I've just caught you up to everything that's going on. By the way, the cave beans do spoil. I don't know why I thought they didn't, but I do, I was not putting cave beans in here because I, for some reason, didn't think they spoiled, which was kind of weird. Oh my god, we are really out of room here. Um, you know, we're, just, we're not getting enough pumpkins. Alright, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some stuff out of here and do some cooking. I did make some canned meat off camera. Uh, so we could probably take the coffee beans and make them into coffee as well. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to dump all this stuff in here. And we are missing corn. Okay, let's grab some corn as well. The farm is doing awesome. I think we're going to need more refrigerators, people. All right, so we're going to make that. I also want to make some coffee. Uh, oh, you need four coffee beans for a thing of coffee? Holy jeez, that's a lot. All right, well, that kind of sucks. Anyway. Well, that's cooking up. Let me show you what I've been doing here. I've been expanding Hangar Bay 1. This is going to be Hangar Bay 1, okay? Um, I've expanded over here. We're kind of on the verge of having, like, the, you know, um, the mountain. Not, not like, you know, completely per, uh, over our base. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this this tool. I'm going to use the filler tool. And then what you can do is once you know where your wall's going to be, like, permanently, you could just kind of fill this in, right? Like this. So you kind of put the uh, mountain up over... Uh, the wall so I'll probably do that I'll probably do that eventually but I want to finish up in here first so I'm gonna have four spots in hangar bay one all right and um yeah that's it <laughs> four spots in hangar bay one this is gonna be a wall uh as a matter of fact I could probably finish this up let's just do this oops I don't know where that went but oh okay and then we're gonna leave one spot probably uh on the edge or in the middle or by the door um, I kind of like it better by the door, so we're gonna we're gonna put it right there. So we're gonna leave a regular door for us to walk in here. There we go, right there. All right, so that's gonna be a regular door. This is gonna be the hangar door, obviously. Um, and then here's like the little runway thing. All right, and it's gonna come all the way down here. I I use my texture tool right for the runway thingy, my bob. And I used which one? I used these right here. So there you go. All right, there you go. And that's going to be the runway all the way up the middle. Now, you might be wondering, well, it looks like, that doesn't look right, right? That looks a little different. Well, I also used my color tool. And I made it this color. Yep. I didn't want it, like, silver. But I didn't want it, like, I didn't want it some kind of garish, like, bright color. I think that's a good color right there. Um, also, these lights, man. Ugh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the lights. Uh, they're, they're, they're perfect during the night, and they're too bright during the day. And it, it drives me out insane. Like, but I don't know. I'm probably worrying for nothing. Anyway, so over here is where we're going to have uh, the ships land. And I'll show you how I did this. Um, we'll do one right over here. So I took the texture tool and I picked, uh, was it this? Yeah, I think it's this. 
Yeah, and then one spot over, and then like that, and that's going to be the outside. All right. Um, actually, how did I do that? Yeah, they're all facing the same way. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. All right, and it's five on the inside. So this is, uh, that's right here. So that goes like that. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have to break this out. Move this back a little bit more. All right, and then one more, and then like this. One, two, three. Stupid freaking wall. I knew this uh, hangar bay wasn't going to be big enough when I first built it, but it's easy to take down. No, no worries. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And then this one can come this way. Oh, look at this. There's some damage there. That's okay. I'll fix that later. All right, and then we just uh, cut out. Oh, these are facing the wrong way. There we go. All right, everything looks good there. All right, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yep, perfect. Perfect. And then on the inside, I picked these little great things right here. I think they look really cool for a ship to land on, you know? Kind of like a hard grate and maybe uh, maybe any oil or anything that's in the ship, you know, leaks through to something underneath. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. But then I thought, eh, it doesn't look, you know, it just looks kind of bland, right? So then I, I got the colors, and yellow is a really good color for something. Uh, is that the right color, yellow? I think it is. Um, it looks like the right color of yellow. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be, because it's definitely not this. Yeah, that's the right color of yellow. Alright, so then we uh, fill these in on yellow. My stupid heart won't shut the hell up, because I like to sprint. Alright, so that's all yellow, and then on the inside, I didn't want anything, like, you know, ridiculous, so I just, I thought black was best. There we go, and we got the, and that's how we, that's how I built these, uh, that's how I built the landing pads. And we're gonna have four on this side in hangar one, and then hangar two is gonna be on the opposite end, and that's gonna be, um, uh, that's gonna have four spots as well. Alright, so why don't we go ahead and repair this, because it's kind of looking, uh, bad. There we go. All right, that's better. That's better. All right, and that's how we're going to do the hangar. It's going to be awesome. Let's go ahead and clear up some of these things right here. Oh, oh I'm filler tool. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> filler, that's exact. It's actually quite the opposite of what I wanted. All right. Oh, you know what? One other thing I wanted in here that I didn't... I didn't... Uh, uh, one other thing I wanted. So that's going to go over there. Yeah, so... Oh, boy. I wanted a spot for one of these... Uh, one of these guys to sit, but I don't know where I would put it. All right, just so we're on the right page, I'm going to give you an idea of what I want this base overall to look like, okay? You're going to fly the ship in here, okay? There's going to be hangar on the right, a hangar on the left, okay? Uh, my first idea was, my first idea was to have this receptionist, right, inside the hangar to, you know, take your, uh, your ship number, take your information, you know, check you in, uh, make sure you're not an enemy, stuff like that, right? But uh, I didn't leave any room in here. And the thing is, I don't want the hangar to be too big. It's already going to be huge. Um, I want to keep it manageable. So I don't like the idea of the uh, receptionist being in there. Okay. Then I was thinking about putting the receptionist out here before you go into the hangar. Um, that wouldn't be a bad idea. But the thing is, I, I want to make the receptionist area like kind of like um, not a big area, but like like an office. You know, um, I was going to do things like uh, maybe put some uh, lockers in there. Um, as a matter of fact, this guy should probably have a locker next to him, shouldn't he? Yep, yeah, there we go. That's a locker for his weapons. Anyway, um, I was going to put some plants in there. Let's see if we could do with plants. You know, put some plants in the reception receptionist's office. And then I was going to um, uh, put some other things in there, like some holographic projectors. Like, you think about it, they're sitting down at the office and they got a holographic projector. Maybe the idea is that the holographic... No, oh, sorry. Maybe the idea is that the holographic projector... Um, I could always pick it up. Let's just put it down. So, like, um, you know, something like that. And, like, uh, have this person sitting uh, maybe right here. And there's the holographic projector. And um, maybe you got some nice house plants around. I don't know. Something like that. You know? Uh, something like that. So that kind of setup. And the idea is he's he's he or she, it, is uh, checking in... You know, checking you in, like, hey, um, I'm KG48, uh, number 2345, uh, well, that's not very imaginative, uh, number 8365, alright, and then they check me out, and they're like, okay, you, you, are, you have clearance, um, you know, go ahead and enter the base, right? And then also, like, the idea is that this holographic projector right here, um, is like, think of it as a camera on the outside, so they can see people coming in ahead of time, 
to, you know, maybe let guards know, you know, get ready. I don't recognize this ship or something. Um, that's the idea. That's what I wanted to do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pick all these guys up. But the idea is uh, it'll take up too much room if it's out here. So I think what I'm going to do is um, people will come in here to land their ships. And then basically, uh, this is going. This all, this stuff's all going to move, right? This is all going to get out of here, okay? And then there's going to be like a, just a wall here with nothing. So they come in here, right? And they uh, they land their ship, and then they're, they're, there's going to be a door over here somewhere that leads to the receptionist area. And then you'll have to check in with the receptionist to have uh, access to the base. So you can actually come in and land your ship, okay? But you can't um, you can't get any farther uh, without the receptionist. Uh, maybe there'll be like some kind of you know, uh, clearance to land. Okay, you can, uh, your ship, we recognize your ship, or we don't, or we know you're not an enemy. You can land. But then, in order to get past, because, uh, you know, an enemy could, kid, could take one of your ships. I mean, they did that in Star Wars, you know? Um, an enemy could get a hold of one of your, one of your ships and, like, kind of sneak in. But then you have to have the code to get in any farther. I think that works. Am I thinking too much about this? I think I'm thinking too much about this. But whatever, that's what it's going to be. So let's go ahead and take this ship and clear out over here. Because this is going to be the next spot we're going to go. This will be uh, entrance to the base proper. Okay? Um, yeah, so that, that's the idea for the base. Turn these off because I don't need them. And let's go ahead and clear this out. Uh, we got a lot of clearing to do here. This this ship is just this ship is amazing with pizzas. Just just freaking amazing. Um, I love this thing. This thing could not be any cooler. All right, guys, um, cleared out quite a bit of space over here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this landing pad unfinished. Um, I'll do one uh, landing pads one two. Three and this will be four, but I'm gonna leave it unfinished. And the reason I'm gonna leave it unfinished is because I'm gonna use it as a as a workstation um, because I need to clear out uh, the workstations that are in my way. And I'll show you what I mean about that in a moment. All right, so there we go control. Very good. Very good. Okay, so that's gonna be the wall, and this is definitely gonna be the wall. I don't know how I'm gonna do the roof yet. I I think for this episode. Um, I'm just gonna leave the roof the way it is. Um, I don't like. I don't mind leaving the roof as a um. Uh, as stone, I think it's pretty cool actually. Like I'm living in a cave, I think that's pretty pretty neat. But um, the thing is, I want to seal it in because I'm sick of the rain inside here. Um, so I'm gonna make this a proper. Uh, I'm gonna make this a proper roof at some point. Uh, I'm just not gonna have time to do it uh, today. So let's go ahead and continue this out like so. There you go. Actually, you can go all the way over there. Yeah, whatever. It's fine right there. Come on. I wish you could uh, change the. Uh, uh, the whoozy what's it of the drone the um the, the mouse sensitivity of the drone separate from my guy because the the sensitivity in the drone is just it's been off it's been off for a long time i don't know if they meant to do it like that or not i'm starting to think they meant to do it maybe they don't want the drone to be as easy to control you know um so that's fine if that's the case but i don't know why they want to do that but who knows all right so this is gonna be right here now should we make the reception office inside inside the hangar or should we have it outside into a separate area i think we're gonna do it i kind of like it inside the hangar honestly but i've done that before so i'm not really sure all right so let's go ahead and do this and this could definitely be a oh, there we go okay so do we, do we want it inside the hangar or out i'm gonna put it outside the hangar i think with all the with all the fumes and stuff it probably wouldn't be healthy for someone to be sitting in the hangar working all day. Um, now, obviously, maybe there's no fumes on these space-age ships. I don't know, but um, I, I wouldn't see a receptionist working inside of a hangar. That doesn't... That just doesn't seem right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, and then we need a door, so the door will be right in the middle, or should it be off to the side? That is a good question. Right in the middle would be more... Um, uh, more symmetrical, but off to the side would make more sense. Uh, where are we going to put this door? We're going to put a door over here. I moved the door, by the way, but I think I'll put it back. Uh, well, there's no reason to have a door going out there. But, I'll put one there anyway. Alright, I'll just put it there for now, I guess. So, where do we want to put this door? Uh, honestly, I kind of like it right here. Uh, what are the walkways? So, the walkways are going to be here. So, we have to make, like, a walkway going this way, right? If that's going to be a door. Yeah, you gotta have a walkway going to the door if you're gonna put a door there. So let's go ahead and grab our texture tool and let's see if we can find a walkway. This looks like a walkway. Um, sure. All right, so we'll have a walkway going this way. 
that'll be the door. Uh, we'll probably have to color that walkway. It doesn't quite, you know, doesn't quite look look right. Now, what would a walkway be colored? Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to color the walkway. I'll have to think about that. Anyway, we also have some railings over here. So, I am going to set up the railings. So let's get this out of the way. Uh, there we go. Shut that down. Alright. Let's get that out of the way. Let's get our railings. <clears throat> I have them somewhere on me, right? Wait, I don't have the railings. I, I, You know what? I don't have them on me. They're still in the... This is the stuff I gotta get out of here, by the way. I gotta get everything here over to that corner. That's basically my plan. Um, and I'll do that probably off camera. Crap, I forgot about this stuff. Uh, doesn't look like anything spoiled, so that's good. Alright. That's good. Put you guys up here. We'll eat some of you. Put you up there. And there we go. We're gonna need another, we're gonna need another refrigerator, though. That's for sure. Um, I don't know where I got spoiled food, food from. Maybe something did spoil. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Whatevs, bro. Whatevs. Okay, so uh, let's get on over here. And we got the door there. Uh, oh, yeah. I was getting the railings. I was like, wait, I'm missing something. What am I missing here? Yeah, I got to get the railings. There they are. I made 50 railings. I'm going to need a lot of railings. So, Because don't forget, we're going to use the railings for outside for the outer wall. All right. So there's lots of cool things we could do with the railings. Obviously, I think you've seen this before. Um, let's just do the corners for now. Can we actually do it? A rounded corner wouldn't look right there, right? Because... Does that look right? Because the color here doesn't match the the railing, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm gonna use um. I'm gonna use these over here. You let me know what you actually. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Maybe. Now again, it doesn't match the block, but I think I'm okay with that. It actually looks pretty cool. All right. So anyway, either way, let's um. Let's go ahead and grab these, and these should be on the outside. Uh, no, they can't go on the outside. They got to go on the inside. Yep, inside. There we go. That'll be open. Actually, you know what? I don't even think I want that. Eh, maybe. I think uh, hover vessels can go over those railings. I'm not sure if I want those railings in front of the hover vessel, though. Doesn't make much sense. The hover vessels can go over the railings easily, so why not, right? I mean, I'm only I'm, I'm only half hover height right now. I can go through those railings easily. So, yeah, let's leave them like that. I'm okay with that. All right, let's shut you down and get out and let's take a look at this. All right, so it looks good. All right, so uh, we have the walkway. <clears throat> so I think we'll have the walkway go this way. Yeah, yeah, that works. Yep, yep, I see it. I see it in my mind. All right, so we go this way, this way, this way, and that's the walkway. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so uh, let's finish up putting these down. Let's go on the inside. If they go, if they go on the inside, we can't put lights in there. It's the only thing. But if we put them on the outside, they won't line up properly, right? Yep, see, they don't line up properly. So they either got to all be on the inside. Well, actually, no. Um, you can't put them on the inside uh, with these uh, with these circular things. But I, the problem is I wanted lights on the inside. And if they're on the inside, you can't put lights on the inside. Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna leave them on the I'm gonna leave them on the inside for now. Maybe I'll change my mind later. There we go. Okay, we'll do this one here. Okay. We are gonna figure out what we want to do with the lights because I want to take a screenshot. <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. All right, then we're gonna go circular. Okay. All right. Circular. Okay. Um, let's pick this one up. There we go. And let's see what we want to do here with the lights. All right, guys. We're playing around with the lights a little bit. Let me show you what I've got here. I like this right here, although it might be a little too bright when you look at it. But just don't stare at it, okay? What I did was I put... I took these, um, my favorite lights ever, and I put one on one side, and then I put one on the other side. So they're just back to back. Now, I could always play around with these a little bit. I've got their range all the way up and their intensity down, but I could always go to select color, 
to kind of soften them a little bit if I want to. Um, as of right now, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. I mean, if I'm sitting here staring directly at the light, it's a problem. But you're never going to do that. You're going to, like, you know, you're going to, like, walk by it and stuff and not really look at it. Um, the only other thing I could do is I could... Well, see, the thing is, the other thing I could do is I could put down these lights on the ground, which I kind of like, right? But the problem with that is if I put them down over here, they're in the way of the walkway. I would have to put one down right here. And then one down right here. And like anywhere I put it right here would be in the way of the walkway. The problem is I didn't leave myself enough room for lights along the walkway. But I might be able to take these out. I would I would kind of like, honestly, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take these out and use this right here. Okay? And then so be it. But then again, uh, if I take them out over here, the walkway, it'll, you know, it'll be a little bit dark over here. I also put these off-centered lights around here in the landing pads. So I think what I can do is... I think I could take the offsetting offsetting light and then put it right here. That's where it's going to go. And then, you know what? That'll probably be good enough for the walkway, honestly. Um, you know, I, I may not even need these over here. These might be overkill. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I'll play around it more off camera. The lights are, are a continuous um, annoyance for me in this game. Um, I'm always having trouble with them, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. Anyway, guys, this video is going along, so I am going to call this one here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time, and until then, take it easy.